Like many of you, I love to experiment in the kitchen. I'm always searching for new flavors and unusual combinations. So when I stumbled upon a recipe for mushroom chocolate cake, I was intrigued. Could mushrooms really work in a sweet dish? I had to find out. I'll admit, I had my doubts. Mushrooms have a distinct earthy flavor. How could that possibly complement the sweetness of a dessert? And the texture? Wouldn't they be chewy and strange in a cake or pudding? These were questions I needed to answer. For my first foray into the world of mushroom desserts, I opted for a simple recipe. Chocolate chip cookies with shiitake mushroom powder. This unique twist on a classic treat intrigued me, and I was eager to see how the earthy umami flavor of shiitake mushrooms would blend with the sweet, rich taste of chocolate. Chocolate chip cookies with shiitake mushroom powder. The idea of combining mushrooms with chocolate might sound unusual at first, but trust me, the result is nothing short of extraordinary. The shiitake mushrooms add a depth of flavor that elevates the cookies to a whole new level. Shiitake mushrooms have a rich, umami flavor that I thought would pair well with the bitterness of dark chocolate. The combination of these two ingredients creates a complex and satisfying taste experience. The mushrooms bring a subtle earthiness that complements the sweetness of the chocolate, making each bite a delightful surprise. I finally ground the dried mushrooms into a powder, ensuring that the texture was smooth and fine. This step is crucial because it allows the mushroom flavor to be evenly distributed throughout the cookie dough. The process of grinding the mushrooms was surprisingly easy, and the aroma that filled the kitchen was incredible, which I then incorporated into my cookie dough. Mixing the mushroom powder into the dough was a simple yet transformative step. As I combined the ingredients, I could see the dough taking on a slightly darker hue, hinting at the unique flavor that was to come. The anticipation of tasting these cookies was building with each step of the process. After preparing the dough, I preheated the oven to the perfect temperature for baking. Carefully, I placed the dough onto a baking sheet, making sure each cookie had enough space to spread out as they baked. Watching the cookies rise and turn golden brown in the oven was a satisfying sight. Once the cookies were done baking, I took them out of the oven and placed them on a cooling rack. The aroma of freshly baked cookies filled the air and I couldn't wait to try them. The cookies had a beautiful golden color, and the addition of the shiitake mushroom powder gave them a unique and enticing appearance. Taking the first bite was a revelation. The cookies were soft and chewy, with a perfect balance of sweetness and umami. The shiitake mushroom powder added a subtle depth of flavor that made these cookies truly special. Each bite was a delightful blend of familiar and unexpected tastes, making this recipe a new favorite in my kitchen. Sharing these cookies with friends and family was the best part. Everyone was curious about the secret ingredient, and their reactions were priceless. The combination of chocolate and shiitake mushrooms was a hit, and it sparked conversations about other creative ways to use mushrooms in desserts. This recipe not only satisfied my sweet tooth, but also opened up a world of culinary possibilities. If you're looking to try something new and exciting in the kitchen, I highly recommend giving this recipe a go. The ingredients are simple, but the result is anything but ordinary. With just a few steps, you can create a dessert that is sure to impress and delight. So grab your ingredients, preheat your oven, and get ready to bake some unforgettable chocolate chip cookies with shiitake mushroom powder. After all the baking and tasting, it's time to clean up but the effort is well worth it for the delicious and unique cookies you'll have to enjoy. Happy baking! The process was surprisingly easy. The mushroom powder blended seamlessly into the dough, adding a subtle earthy aroma to the sweet vanilla and chocolate. As the cookies baked, my kitchen filled with a warm, inviting fragrance. It was the perfect blend of familiar and intriguing. The moment of truth arrived. I held the cookie in my hand, feeling its warmth radiate through my fingers. The anticipation was almost palpable as I brought it closer to my mouth. I bit into a warm cookie and the sensation was immediate. The outer layer gave way with a gentle crunch, revealing a soft, gooey center that promised a burst of flavors. My taste buds went into overdrive, each one awakening to the symphony of flavors that danced across my palate. The rich, velvety chocolate was the first to make its presence known enveloping my senses in a wave of sweetness. The initial wave of chocolate and sweetness was met with a subtle earthy note. It was a delicate balance, 
a hint of something unexpected that added depth to the experience. The earthy undertone was like a whisper, not overpowering, but just enough to intrigue. It wasn't overpowering, just a hint of something unexpected that elevated the entire experience. The combination of flavors was masterful, each ingredient playing its part in creating a harmonious blend that was both familiar and novel. The texture was perfect, slightly chewy with a satisfying crunch. The contrast between the crisp exterior and the tender interior was a testament to the skill and care that went into making this cookie. Every bite was a journey, a delightful exploration of textures and tastes. As I savored each bite, I couldn't help but marvel at the complexity of such a simple treat. The chocolate chips melted in my mouth, releasing their rich, creamy essence, while the cookie itself provided a comforting, homey backdrop. The ingredients were simple, flour, sugar, butter, chocolate chips, but the result was anything but ordinary. It was a reminder that sometimes the simplest things in life can bring the greatest joy. With each bite, I felt a sense of contentment wash over me. It was more than just a cookie. It was a moment of pure, unadulterated pleasure, the kind of moment that makes you pause and appreciate the little things. I reached for another cookie, unable to resist the allure of that perfect blend of flavors and textures. Each cookie was a testament to the artistry of baking, a symphony of flavors that left me craving more. Sharing the cookies with friends made the experience even more special. The joy of seeing their faces light up with that first bite was priceless. It was a reminder that food has the power to bring people together, to create moments of connection and happiness. As we sat together, enjoying the cookies and each other's company, I realized that this simple treat had created a moment of togetherness. It was a symphony of flavors that not only delighted the taste buds, but also warmed the heart. The last cookie on the plate was a bittersweet reminder that all good things must come to an end. But the memory of that perfect blend of flavors and the joy it brought would linger long after the last crumb was gone. And so, the symphony of flavors came to a close, leaving behind a melody of sweet memories and a longing for just one more bite. My experiment was a resounding success. After months of trial and error, countless hours spent in the kitchen and numerous failed attempts, I finally achieved what I had set out to do. The feeling of triumph was indescribable. Not only did the mushrooms work in a dessert, but they also brought an unexpected twist to the dish. The earthy umami flavor of the mushrooms blended seamlessly with the sweetness of the dessert, creating a harmonious balance that was both surprising and delightful. They actually enhanced the flavor profile, elevating the dessert to a whole new level. The subtle notes of the mushrooms complemented the other ingredients perfectly, adding a richness and depth that was previously missing. It was as if the mushrooms unlocked a hidden potential within the dessert, adding a depth and complexity that I had never experienced before. Each bite was a journey of flavors, with the mushrooms providing a unique twist that kept the palate intrigued. The texture of the dessert was also transformed, becoming more layered and nuanced. It was an important reminder that culinary boundaries are meant to be pushed. Innovation in the kitchen is not just about following recipes, but about daring to experiment and think outside the box. This experience taught me that sometimes the most unconventional ingredients can lead to the most extraordinary creations. Sometimes the most unexpected combinations yield the most delightful results. Seeing the smiles on the faces of those who tasted the dessert was the ultimate reward. It reaffirmed my belief that the art of cooking is about exploration and discovery, and that the journey is just as important as the destination. So, the next time you're feeling adventurous in the kitchen, why not consider adding a touch of the unexpected? Don't be afraid to experiment with mushrooms in your desserts. You might just discover a new favorite flavor combination. I'm already experimenting with other mushroom varieties and dessert recipes. Stay tuned for more updates on my culinary adventures.